Hey, it's your reigning supreme, the Dog Queen, and welcome back to my channel. Cause I'm the fucking supreme. So, you know, Ainsley, the twins in series four just dropped and it's like, Shadowhide just came out. What's up with all these new ones? And I agree. Um, but I don't really mind because I have been waiting for Ainsley to be a doll for a really long time, so I had to have her at whatever price she was going to be at. There are a lot of future doll releases from Rainbow High slash Shadow High in the fall, and I mean a lot, like a lot, a lot. I don't even know if Walmart or Target is going to be able to keep all of them, so... Maybe there's going to be a bunch of sales in the future. I don't really know. I'm just like... Wow, they are saturating the hell out of the market, though. Anyways, let's get into her packaging. Because we'll talk about price at the end. So, her packaging is similar to Avery's. Where it's the same shape, but reversed. Um... And then, you know, we have Shadow High, Trunk Show, uh, and there's no trunks, and that is because a trunk show is where you just display your fashion, like a sample of your fashion, for, um, people to, uh, see it. And, uh, I needed that explained to me, so that's why I'm explaining it to y'all. So, yeah, and instead of, uh, Avery having, like, herself and like a rack and like all the clothes hanging up already and then like a wig over here like she has no wig it's rooted hair thank god um and then we just have separate cartridges of the uh clothing because she does not come with acrylic chunks and she does not come with a rack why i don't really know but she is gorgeous and is stunnerita and yeah so the packaging also has all these glitch effects over Ainsley. It looks really cool. There's Ainsley Slater. Um, because, you know, she transferred to Shadow High. Why? I don't know. Uh, and her aesthetic is just, like, black with, like, dark purple, which is cute. Mm -hmm. As you can see, she is a special edition. I mean not really special edition when they're special edition that just means that they ain't in a main line they're just like separate so whatever um and on the side we can see her focus and she's the only double focus that we've ever had uh so we have Ainsley accessory and fashion design focus so she has both of those pretty damn cool actually um that was my homemade instrument my bad and then we have includes a doll, three tops, two skirts, one dress, two jackets, one belt, one pair of pants, four pairs of shoes, one purse. Eh. I would eh about the purse. It's really just a fanny pack, but anyway. Two bracelets, four hangers, one comb, and one doll stand. So, per, I guess. And then on the back, you can see Ainsley. <laughs> yeah, it's really hard to make it in view. I'm like stretching over here. So, uh, mix and match to create 400 plus looks. Barely. But, uh, Ainsley Slater, maybe the new girl at Shadow High, but her talent for accessory and fashion design speaks for itself. Okay. I would like to see how she interacts with everyone, TBH, because, like, she's only been friends with Avery and Aiden and just randomly ditch them. Her conscience is probably really, really hebbed right now. Um, and then you see Shadow High Trunk Show, and it's like separate little piece right here, but like, I don't know, it's very interesting. Uh, and then when you go on to this side, you can see more of the glitch effects, which are cool, and I hope continue in Shadow High's run, where they put glitch effects on the windows, because very interessante. And then there is her barcode if you need it so now let's unbox this bitch so i actually forgot to <laughs> read uh this portion so it says better with boots for her rainbow high outfit leather for any weather for one of her outfits 
jewelry completes the look for um, her shadow high outfit and then the bag for any occasion for that look. So, if you're wondering, that's what it says. So I finally, you know, have her out of the box. I love her. She is one of my favorite rainbow high dolls of all time. And I know she's shadow high now, but honestly, I kind of consider her rainbow high still because, like, come on. She has the rainbow high original facial sculpt. She has full color to her skin and her eyes and her makeup. Like, come on. She's basically rainbow high. She even has rainbow accessories, R, and rainbow stand. And not only a rainbow stand, but she comes with a rainbow comb, all in silver, which is nice because, you know, Holly was the only silver bitch, but now we have Ainsley. And then she also comes with two silver pant hangers, which are a little, like, yellowish in person. I don't know why that is. And then we also have two rainbow, uh, shirt hangers which are cool and these are probably gonna be the last rainbow high hangers that we'll see at least for a really long time so yeah that is it for what she comes with that aren't outfits so let's get into her and i think personally that she comes with all these rainbow accessories and all these like rainbow high nods are that a she is fooling shadow high and she's really still for team uh rainbow high and is like a spy for shadow high or a spy for rainbow high who infiltrated shadow high sent in by lou Wright. i don't know that's one theory other one is that simply she was designed to be a rainbow high release which is why it it says Rainbow High um, closet refresh for her barcode originally. So, I don't know. Uh, I think it's a little bit of both. And, I mean, let's just get into her because she's honestly stunning. So, we're going to start off with her hair. So, her hair is a blend of black and dark purple. And it's really pretty, but it's crunchy. They just crunchified her hair. It was really messy in the box, so she needs a wash. She's like in desperate need of a wash. And then she'll be gorgeous. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of it for the hair. It's just a high ponytail with a center part with two parts hanging down, like uh, Heather has. Uh, and then if we move on to her stunning face she has the original sculpt you can see 2019 and then uh she does have shine to her face which is cool because you know she was introduced when the show came out when the dolls first started coming out so makes sense why they did that uh her eyebrows are like I think they're the original eyebrows, but in black, or at least a super dark brown. Um, and then she does have rainbow uh, eyeshadow that goes from yellow to green to blue to purple. So really pretty and really sure accurate, and it reminds me a lot of Holly's makeup. Uh, and then she has like a bubblegum pink lip, which is really pretty. Um, and then she does have a little bit of blushing. And her eyes are actually, fun fact, the same eyes used on Stella. So that's fun for her, because we didn't see Stella's eyes in Stella. Um, one thing I will note, though, is that you have to be really careful about picking one out or ordering online, because this is the best one that I could find. And, like, almost all of them had either, like, an eyebrow uh scuffage or the the lips are like super smeared and here the lips already there's like a little bit of red on the tip of the nose and then on the side right here the blushing is like messed up a bit but 
It was like red marks right there and there. I mean, I tried. And honestly, I kind of, you barely notice because you don't really look at the cheeks. I'm being hopeful, but I might contact MGA and we're going to hope for the best. Uh, and then we move on to her signature Rainbow High outfit. It is a deconstructed blazer type looking thing where it is all black and then it has the little leather strap right here that's adjustable um it's a uh, sleeveless right here but then there's a long sleeve down here we have gold buttons right there there and there little belt loops a little pocket right here a little collar it's honestly really cool uh and then one thing is that she does have like gold safety pins right here and here and this was yeah this is open and there are supposed to be gold safety pins along there, but there are not. So, I don't know. If I can find gold safety pins at, like, the Dollar Tree or something that are, like, super tiny, I'll put them in. But if not, oh well. Uh, so, yeah, that's it for her top. And then her skirt is really detailed, actually. Uh, so there's this belt right here that's made out of plastic. It's black and it has little gold detailings. It says rainbow, uh, and then it looks like the little fabric woven chain that we've seen like a billion times. And then it has R, you know, really soft plastic too. Uh, and then this is the same material as this, which is like a denim-ish material. And then there's a little pleather strap right here, a little pleather line right there. Then they have little buckles right here. And then real grommets and uh, thread lacing all the way through to right here. Really, really cool. And then her nails are painted black. And she has two bracelets on. One of them is just simply a little woven chain design. And then the other one is a little dotted bangle bracelet. So super cute. And again, pretty accurate. Um... And then her boots are stunning, and I love combat boots. So, of course, I love this bitch's boots. So, she has black combat boots with silver buckling right there and studs. And then she has spikes that are clear. Yes, she is literally facepalming the camera. Uh, they are really cool. God. And then she has little treads. They seem a little plain, but honestly, one of those things where she was honestly a, a, a background character, after all, who was brought into a doll. So, that's the tea. And I really like her, this outfit, TBH. I really like it. So now, let's take a look at her. Shadow high look. Wear it. So here we have her second outfit. Which um, is her like shadow high outfit. It's the one that's marketed in the show and on the website as her shadow high outfit. So that's what I call it. Her like main shadow high outfit. And it's really cute, honestly. Like it looks cool great on her adore uh so let's get into what exactly the outfit is so it is this flat um shiny black pleather uh turtleneck and it's really cute actually and then over that is a like bluish tinted uh black pleather that ends up being a little uh corset bustier something like that it's partly unzipped then she has like little i don't know collar pieces and studs it's cute very very cute and then uh the bottom half is just like lyric lucas because we have this like jersey knit ish material uh, feels very similar to it. That's black and it has the white, uh, like, faux leather trim on it. And then we have, 
a little stud right here, stud right here, and a little silver clasp. I'm not sure what it's called, so I'm just calling it a clasp. And then her boots are uh, Lyric's secondary boots, but in black. So, you know, we have the black with white lettering rather than the white with black lettering, lettering and then the bottom is still the same with the rainbow gradient. And um, some people are probably mad that it's not a new boot mold because some people didn't like Lyric's boots, but I actually loved Lyric's boots, so I'm glad that we have them in black and they belong to Miss Ainsley. Because like I said, she is that bitch. And I really, really like this outfit. Um, and with plain pieces like this little turtleneck, it'll definitely give some mix and match opportunity and for you to give other dolls these pieces of clothing. So now let's move on to her second look, which I call her like witchy steampunk look. So wear it. So here we have her witchy outfit. Oh, I really, really love it. I was gonna say like it and love it at the same time, so I ended up live it. Yes. So it is amazing, stunning, gorgeous. Oh, I love it. So firstly, she has this gorgeous jacket that it has like rainbow and all other and a little Hollywood and then zippers and zippers. It's just a really nice little pleather jacket and it's um a lot larger than the other pleather jackets that we get and it feels a lot better than the other pleather jackets that we get. So, you know, we have all the zippers and zipper pulls and then we have a little buckle and a little ribbon little strip right here so you can actually tighten the jacket if you wish. That's what it looks like on the back. Does it look really nice? Like I said, I love this jacket. It's really cool. Um, and then when it comes to her dress, it is a little sleeveless black leather and again it feels really really nice uh, and then there's some purple fish netting over here that looks really nice uh, purple stitching a little purple lace at the bottom and then a little clear vinyl uh, corset that has studs and buckles and it loops around the neck and this is actually what's keeping her whole entire uh, dress up because it like will not velcro in the back it's too tight so luckily she has that so it can actually stay on and then she has probably my favorite or second favorite shoes that she has uh which are these purple like purple indigo and blue oil slick moment that's like really glittery and shimmery and then it has black and gold buckling bucklings buckles on it and then zippers and studs really cute i really like these ankle boots so overall she ends up looking really witchy really uh just overall amazing 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 we loves her she is great and now for your last outfit. Put it on. So here is her very last outfit. It is my least favorite outfit. It's very plain, but I feel like that's the point. So yeah, let's just look at it. So first and foremost, she has this fanny pack just like Finn. And if you, one thing you need to know about me is I fucking dis buys fanny packs this is ugly like fucking hell get it off ainsley for being an accessory design i feel like that she should know that like come on this shit is hideous hit the s if it was a purse cute but it's not um but i will you know give credit where it's due it is really high quality with the ribbon and little fake chain going on and a little clasp 
uh, the pleather that's made out of, the quilting, the embroidery, and the fact that this is a real zipper so you can actually put shit inside of it. Like, we'll give credit where it's due, but really, really ugly and very disappointed in Ainsley for actually attempting to wear it. Like, come on. Like, would it even work as a purse? I don't know. I guess you could try and use it as a little a little handbag, a little purse moment, but I'm just gonna wait for the accessory packs later on, which are gonna be like, I think blind bags or something. Who knows? Um, so for the rest of her outfit, like I said, it is plain. So the top right here is made out of the same like knitted fabric that this skirt is made out of. Um, and then there's little gold buckles right here and here and there and there. And then it just harnesses in the back. It's cool, but it's pretty plain. And it allows for more mix and match capabilities. Same with these plain uh, black jeans, which have a little holographic tint to them, which is actually really cool. Um, and these are just black pleather pants. And then on the side, there is lacing and it bows up right there. Same with over here, like I said. And then there are working pockets back here. And then her shoes are, yet again, pretty plain in Rainbow High standards. And these are actually Jules shoes that were recolored to be black and silver rather than green and gold. Um, so yeah, there's like a little clear strap right there, a little heel strap right there, and then an R and an H on the heel. And some people's like falls off really easily, but honestly, mine stays on pretty well. So yeah, that is Ainsley Slater in her little fashion studio. And I really, really like this. This is a lot better, like a big upgrade to Avery's where we get an actual rooted doll that's really nice. Uh, then we also get all these really nice pieces. Like these are some really, really nice and versatile pieces. Um, I would say my biggest complaint is that she's accessory design, but the only accessories she comes with are two little gold bracelets and a hideous little hip bag slash fanny pack. So I would have liked to have seen some earrings, some more necklaces, um, purses. I really would have liked to seen that, especially for the up charge that we have. Because here we're talking about price. So her price was originally like $50, and then they uh, upped it to be uh, 60 so I ended up paying 60 for her since I found her a little later than others, and that's a little unfortunate because $60, but you're getting less than what Avery came with? Yikes. And yes, this stuff is, like, made for Ainsley and is really, like, looks a lot better than what Avery came with, but you're still nonetheless getting less than what you got with Avery, but with more, with a higher price point. It just doesn't make sense to me. And I know that with, like, some leaks that we got, um, a lot of the stuff upcoming in the fall, uh, is gonna be really, really expensive for, like, no reason. So I will probably be waiting for sales for a lot of this stuff, because, yikes. Especially since Monster High is coming back, and that's a good price. I'll just be buying Monster High shit until Rainbow High slash Shadow High get their shit together and, and lower down the price because they're getting a little cray cray. They're really pushing the envelope. But yeah, uh, if it was like any other, if it was like Glitch that came with this, I wouldn't have bought it. But it was Ainsley. <sighs> and I just like instantly gravitated towards her and her clothing. I just absolutely loved her. So I paid the extra money. Do I think you should? That's up to you if you want to uh, buy Ainsley 
for a higher price point than she's actually worth. To me, it was just worth having her, like, right now. So, yeah. Uh, it's coming to the point where Rainbow High and Shadow High isn't quite the a good deal anymore. So, let's see how that goes. And uh, that's it. So, sorry for the really long review. If you made it to the end, congratulations. You like hearing me talk, because I sure don't. Uh, so, from your reigning supreme, I grant you a wonderful, glorious, fantabulous day. Toodles!